All right, guys, it says a study was done to compare the detection of depression in 100 students using a new interview questionnaire. Two independent general practitioners gave the same questionnaire to the same students. Each practitioner was blinded to the other practitioner's results. The kappa statistic for these raters was 0 0.80. Which of the following does the kappa statistic best describe? So <clears throat> really, whenever you see these kind of questions that may say kappa statistic, and I'll just put this one right here. So we have the the... Uh, kappa statistic, more specifically the Cohen uh, Cohen's kappa, and then we have this thing called the uh, Kendall's uh, tau that you may see, and then you'll have this one called the Pearson's uh, Pearson correlation, and we've seen that a lot uh, with some of their videos. So, but these are the three that you got to know for the step exams. Again, the Kappa statistics, the Kendall tau's, and then the Pearson correlation, and all three of these basically. You know, think about it like this. They're all there to answer the question is, uh, are the ratings, you know, are the ratings on whatever scale, whatever the test, are they reliable? Okay, that's ultimately what these things do. Now, the well, they may ask a question is, well, how do you know when to use Kappa? How do you know when to use Kendall Tiles? And how do you know when to use the Pearson's correlation? You know, they may ask it working backwards. Now, with the Kappa, okay, let's just think like this. With the kappa, you're using da data that you may they may word it like this. It may be nominal or uh, categorical. Okay, now you're like, oh my god, are we really gonna go down that road? No, I'm not gonna go that far. So just hang, bear in, bear with me. All right. So if you're gonna use the kappa statistic, it's gonna be data that's either nominal, or categorical, meaning that you can't sort the data. And then what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is the data that you can sort is like, say I had a questionnaire, you know, say this, uh, if it's some type of test and the questionnaire was like, okay, um, kind of rate how things went um, or how, how they are with mild, moderate, or severe. You know, this data can be, origin it can be originally ranked, right? Like one, two, three, it can be ranked uh, based on what we already know, mild, moderate, or severe. Or if you use like a Likert scale, right? one to 10 with one meaning like say no pain, 10 meaning excruciating pain, that's already in order. It can be ordered. But when you're using a Kappa statistic, the data can't, you, you cannot sort the data. And that would be like if you're collecting data about, okay, what country is somebody from, you know, the gender, uh, you know, hair color, uh, and even race, right? You can't put like one, two, three, or in order of any type of significance, right? It's, it's, it's meaningful data, but it, you, you can't order it. So anytime that they're doing a study where it's something that you can't sort, you think kappa. You're gonna, just think that it's gonna, you're gonna use a Cohen's uh, kappa statistic, which is to describe the inter-rater reliability, meaning you got two people that are basically independent, right? They're independent of each other. They're not looking at the same data. Your question is, hey, are these things going to, is, is there a correlation between one provider and the next? You know, meaning like if they did the questionnaire, there should be some type of correlation between the two independent, uh, you know, providers in that sense. So if the data, you can't sort the data, you know, they were nice. Look, on this question, they were real nice here, right? They told you it was Kappa statistic. And in Kappa statistic, you're really just saying, hey, look, is the inner rate of reliability, um, is it there or not? And the closer you get to one, you know, 1.0, then it's, you know, there's a high correlation. So 0.8 and above, yes, high correlation. So the answer to this question is Kappa statistic tests the inner rate of reliability. Now, if you were doing some type of test and they said, well, you know, we're using some type of data that can be organized, you know, it can be sorted somehow, like originally, then you're going to say, okay, well, that's the Kendall's tau okay yeah the the kendall's tau and again that goes back to mild moderate severe likert scale one to ten and in that situation the uh it's best described the ordinal association and ordinal all that means ord right it just means that there's some type of um ordered format okay so it's like hey is the ratings reliable from something that has an ordered uh, or, an, or an originally ordered format? You'd use Kendall's tau. And then the Pearson correlation coefficient. Now you've seen this a million times, right? Because that was that original video that I did. I, you know, I didn't go into full, full detail. And so it looks like I messed it up uh, way back when, okay? 
And so you'll see this, right? And I'll make a short video on that. So if things go down to the right, you know, there's a, perhaps the line is a, it's a negative. And if the data is not, well, let me say it. If the data is not on the line, it's not tightly correlated, you know, you're looking at, you know, 0.6 or something like that, right? For our purposes. If it's a fully one, it's right on the line. Now it's a negative because it slopes in the, uh, down to the right, you know, it's like basic middle, middle grades math. So if you had it like this, we know when it goes up to the right, it's gonna be a positive correlation. And if everything is on the line, really tight, it's a 1.0. If there's some type of off the line correlation, then again, think, some, you know, it's, it's not 1.0 because that's on the line, tightly correlated, highly correlated. The, this is a soft correlation, okay? And then you could have something theoretically where it's just no correlation. But again, going back to the purpose of, of this video, you need to know when they do a, some type of test and they're trying to assess the reliability, you could have used this word for an answer choice for all of them, but the fact is they said Kappa statistic, you gotta know it's the inter-rater reliability if they said that they were using data that was already there, there that it could be sorted ahead of time, you're going to think capital, uh, ordinal, you're looking for the ordinal association. And then any measure of linear correlation, you're going to think the Pearson correlation. So the key words, the key takeaways on this, I can tell you this, if they're going to ask you a Pearson's correlation coefficient, they're going to give you a graph, okay? That's what they've always done historically, and that's what they're going to continue to do. So I'm not going to worry about this one in terms of words, but you better know what these graphs kind of mean, okay? And then if it comes to one of these two, I'm thinking kappa is the inner rater reliability, and then the Kendall's tau is some type of ordinal association, the reliability of that test with data that is already, you know, can, can be sorted out ahead of time. Mild, moderate, severe, you know, some type of uh, Likert scale, and such like that, okay? Uh, and there's other things that they talk about, but we're not gonna don't don't go down that rabbit hole. You know, there's measures of ordinal data. When I say ordinal data, you know, there's a thing called gamma. Uh, you know, there's there's the tau c. You got the tau uh, b. Okay, which is pretty much what we're talking here. And then you got the Spearman. You know, if they answer that stuff, they win. Okay, because it's just too much to kind of go down that road to pass the step exams. You just got to know kappa, inter-rater reliability between, you know, at least there's two independent practitioners. And you may see that association where they could say like uh, a test, retest. And it could be the same person, right? I could do a test on you uh, on something, and then I could retest again later. And I'm going to see how much reliability between the two tests. Okay, well, I'm going to use a Cohen's uh, kappa. Uh, statistics to assess my reliability. Uh, so anyways, that's kind of how I do it, guys. Don't get bogged down on this. Again, most of the questions are going to give you this. Like, it's going to say kappa, or they're going to say the Kendall's tau. And then if they say the Pearson's correlation coefficient, just know how to make sure there's a, it's either tightly correlated, loosely correlated, and if it goes up to the right, it's positive. Down to the right, it's going to be negative. Hope it's helpful, guys. Mm -hmm.